what is up guys so today I've got another tutorial for you in which I will be showing you how to make CSGO skin well weapon skin so to do that you will need those files I've got over here so you will need VTF edit which is a, a program that will we be converting our images with obviously Counter Strike Go uh, a some sort of a texture well you don't need to it's depending on what level you are uh, with a Photoshop or any photo editing software you are familiar with uh, a texture of your goon that you want to actually make the skin for and some uh, photo editing software so to get the texture of the goon you want to make the skin for you will go to this website I will link the I will put the, all the links down in the description so if you want to check them out they will be there so as you can see you've got all the guns here which are in the CSGO so whichever gun, uh, whichever gun you want to make the skin for it's here you can just download it after you downloaded it you need to extract it with a Win WinRAR or whatever you are using to extract files I'm using this one as the most popular one uh, after you extract it you open it up and as you can see you've got those three files and then all you have to do is op open this file here that uh, tag targa targa t a r g a so you double click it and as you can see i've got mine already opened and then as you uh, you got a, a gun skin and th as you can see there are all the parts of the gun over here so what you want to do is get like i said before get some sort of texture mine is like this it's just for the tutorial purposes you can spend more time over it and actually try to make it your own so like I don't know make some stripes on here or whatever okay so let's start with it so if you know what you want to do with it you go down here up here and then pick magic one tool after you picked it you click on the part of the gun you want to actually change so for me it will be the side if you want to select two pieces of the gun you hold sh you click on the part first part and then after you clicked on it you hold shift and click on the other part so what you want to do now is to delete everything else well not delete but just hide it you right click it and then click layer via copy <coughs> sorry and as you can see it made the new layer so we can hide this one if you want and then we got uh, the stuff we wanted to make so now what we do is um, open our texture in Photoshop just let wait for it to load and then all we got to do is select and all and then go into um, Where was it? I already forgot where what is it? Where was it? Uh, I'm not too sure. I forgot what it was. Oh, there it is. And then click on define pattern. You can name your pattern. I'll call it circle. And then click OK. And that's all you have to do. You can close it now. And then on here, you right click on the layer of the sides or whatever you have actually selected of the gun you right click on the layer go into blending options and then on here you click, uh, click pattern overlay and then when you get to it you got as like you can see you got a little picture over here so you click the arrow next to it and then there should be a, a pattern that we've just made before and that's all we do we could just click ok and as a kiss in we've done it we can put our overlay back on and that's how we made the skin so to save this now we're going to a file save as uh, call it whatever we want I'll just call it AWP pick where we wherever, wherever we want to save it I'll save it on E and then on here we pick T-A-R-G-A Tagra it's right on the end we click that and then save and then when this little window pops up pick 32 bit per, per, per pixel 
so we get the best quality we can and then click OK so it's saved so the next thing you want you can quit our Photoshop right now go into um, VTF edit so let's open up the program and then this little program will show up as I said all the links to download those programs I will put in the in the description so you don't have to look for them they will be just there so you can click on it and download so when you're in this program you click on the on this little paper where it says import and then we just import the file we have just made which is a AWP that's what I've called my files and then open it up and then those default settings are here are fine so we don't need to change anything just click OK just wait for the image to load on my computer it will probably take quite a while because it's a not fast computer so let's wait for the actual image to load up maybe on your computer it will be faster so it's depending on the faster the components of the computer you have so let's just wait for it all right guys as you can see the image has loaded up and we can have a look at it as you can see there is a skin of our image right here so there is no things to worry about uh, and then all you do is just click this button save and then you save it as a VTF file there is no other file you can save it as I'll save it on the same partition I've saved it before and I'll call it AWP circle and then after you called it you uh, save it our ah, file is saved and then what you can close this program now and what you want to do now is go over to a TSGO game actually go into a game and then I'll see you guys there alright guys as you can see we are back in the game well back in the game in the game uh, so the first thing you want to do when you are in the game well in the CSGO you want to go into uh, options uh, game settings and then you want to make sure that you got enabled console which is over here so you need to put it over a yes so when you click a, a key uh, to bring up the console the console will pop out so after you've done that uh, you want to hit a little key that is under escape key uh, so it's in left top corner under escape key and then when you press it, you want to put work, shop, underscore, workbench. Work, workshop, underscore, workbench. You click enter, and then this little window pops up. Let's make it a bit bigger. And then, as you can see, we got a lot of settings here to make our skin. At first, it might look really scary, but it's not. So... Here we got some inspections button. We can make him reload. Uh, do inspection when you press F in the game, and then a lot of things around here. So the first thing you want to do when you get into this program, you want to pick the gun you've made the skin for. In my case, is AWP. After you've done that, you can inspect it and then pause it on whatever in whatever position you want to. After you've done that, you want to go into left top corner, and where it says none, you want to pick custom paint job. After you're doing that, you see it's not nice, is it? So let's make it better with our skin that we've made. Choose pattern over here, which is choose pattern. And then you choose the VTF file you've uh, saved in the program before. In my case, it's AW, AWP circle. Then, as you can see, our skin is on the gun, but it doesn't look too nice, does it? So, we need to make it look nice. And then, where you see at the bottom here, there's a sliders. So, what you want to do, when you make skins in Photoshop, all you have to do is just put all the sliders to the left, right to the end. And then, after you've done that, as you can see, our skin should look as we made it in Photoshop. So, let's have a look at it. It doesn't look too bad. But it could be better, as always. As always, guys, be creative. Let's do whatever you want to do. Let's make it look nice. And then, little tip: if you want to use a texture that is already made, look for the highest resolution. For the highest resolution, more higher resolution, more details, better quality. As you can see on mine, is the quality is not too nice, as the 
uh, image I've used was really low uh, resolution so it had to be stretched out and as you can see you can see a bit of a like little not smooth edges so yeah that's a little tip for you so thanks for watching guys I hope you, this tutorial has helped here as I was looking on YouTube I didn't see a really good tutorial that I would understand to make so I started messing around and I find out how to make it uh, and I hope I helped you make it so if you did leave that like button I hope you did enjoy the video and I'll see you later on my next video